Today we got the first frog that I've seen this year. I don't want to spook him, but I'll try and get a good shot. He's got a little bit of gray and a little bit of red coloration. Moving down towards the water, see his head there just in the sunlight. I think these are the ones that actually kind of change color. They can kind of turn anywhere from green to white to apparently red. So there he goes. It's moving fast. This little guy's got a broken wing. I don't think I can really help him. Poor little bird. The turtles are back too. I've just noticed them today. So I think they emerged probably yesterday got two beautiful days in a row so they're loving it. There's one right down there. It's probably hard to see but I'll see if I can get a little closer without spooking it. But this is about as close as I want to get to our turtle because they do spook pretty easily. But they're definitely out. And the next step is the frogs. They'll wake up pretty soon and they'll start croaking every night. Just a beautiful cacophony of chirps. Little painted turtle. And right behind it there's some green sprouts that are a uh, native lily really beautiful flower purple and yellow just gorgeous so I cleared them out of all the buckthorn there was just tons of growth so I'm hoping they'll get more Sun and they'll produce a little bit more flower this is where I cut the buckthorn back last year Let's see some of the stumps they were actually all over here they were blocking out these lilies. They're actually really gorgeous flowers. They just grow wild. And for Minnesota, they're really color appropriate. <laughs> so here they are. You can see the root down deep. They're actually really hardy because that would have been frozen all winter. But now they're shooting up beautiful new shoots straight out of that rhizome, I presume. And all those little strands are roots. They're all along here. They're like little hairs. But they really grow everywhere. So I'm going to check up on these regularly because when they flower, it's so beautiful. I think I might have an old clip of one of the flowers, so I'll throw one of those in. I think the water's clear enough today where I can actually see the muskrats dwelling, kind of. Right down in the center there, there's a little kind of an underground cavern. Pretty sure he's got tunnels and things down. There's a little bit of trail of uh, stirred up mud over here. And another one a little further out too. So I think those are like driveways basically. 
comes and goes and has a burrow here under the hill. I can hear those frogs too. I think they just woke up today. Oh, there the fish just jumped. I hope you saw those. There's really a lot. Wow, they're leaping out of the water. <laughs> wow. That was cool. <laughs> We've got jumping fish. That is nuts. And look at our fish now. They're just right here. Tiny little things. There they are. Yeah, they don't like me. <laughs> Must be my, my big hat. Cast a shadow. There's a ton over here too. the water bugs, my goodness. It's a massive school. There must be a thousand of them. I love it when they jump out of the water. It's amazing. I didn't know they could do that. I've seen sharks do that. But these little guppies, <laughs> it's really cool. So spring has officially sprung on the pond. We've got fish and frogs. And they are beautiful. So I'm going to head back into the garden. I've still got some work to do today. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.